What's up everybody, Drew here. Today we are gonna talk about ways to get free leads for your photo booth rental business in the year 2023. And I'm saying 2023 because if you were to ask me this question or if I were to make this video three years ago, it would be completely different. And um, let me just go right into it. So, so what's changed over the last three years is Craigslist. Um, shout out to Ruben. Ruben and his wife came through. They bought a photo booth and uh, an iPad booth. They already had a photo booth business, but Ruben and I were having a conversation that, um, which I, I, I'm so surprised that he told me this. We talked about this because we had the same experience. But three years ago, you could literally just rely on Craigslist, right? Making free ads to get leads for your, your photo booth rental business. I mean, him and I both had like five to 10 accounts and we would basically just make ads every day and we would get enough leads to where we were pretty much fully booked. He was doing it for his DJ business, but I was doing it for the photo booth business. And um, Craigslist was the place. Craigslist was like, I don't know who Craig is, but his list was great. <laughs> that was such a stupid joke. Uh, anyways, Craigslist used to be, be be the place, and now it's just not. It's I don't know what happened. I I don't know if all the people that used to use Craigslist passed away, or <laughs> or they I don't know. It's just not where what it used to be. And um, now I think um, you know I still do post. We we will get a, a booking every once in a while, but it's definitely not like how it used to be. Um, and another place that we used to get leads from is uh, we would use OfferUp. That has slowed down tremendously. I think it's oversaturated. Uh, I may be to blame. I made a, a bunch of videos talking about how we would get bookings through uh, OfferUp. But um, I don't want this to be all about the bad things and, and, and all that. So that's why I'm saying way to get free leads in 2023. And it's still Facebook. Uh, a lot of people still use Facebook. The, the number one way to get leads and the best way for free, I would say, would be post in groups. Still, you know, um, whatever city you're in, right? City you're in, go to groups, type in your city, see what groups there are. It, the crazy thing about it, you guys, you'll see how many people are in, in these groups and they're in your city. So, one, that's important because you see how many people are there and the more people, the better. And the fact that they're in your city is the most important part because people that book you in your city, that means the events are gonna be local and no one wants to drive far to do an event. Although we all do, right? We'll all occasionally drive that 30 minutes, maybe an hour to do a gig. I know some people that'll drive hours to a gig. That's not me, I'm not doing it unless we're getting paid for that time and that gas. Um, so that's really important. So you wanna join these groups, and this is the key. You don't wanna do this too often because you don't wanna come off like, like a spam. You don't want it to be like, you know, you don't wanna get blocked and, and blacklisted from these groups. So what you do is you join the groups. It could be, let's just say you're in the city of uh, La Puente. That's where I'm from. You go to La Puente for, uh, on groups. You'll see a, a La Puente 411 page. You'll see a La Puente skate park page, a La Puente, um, weddings or, or whatever it is. There's a bunch of groups. And then you can even do this to the cities around you, right? So you join the groups and then you wanna make, a, write a post. Also, before I get into this, make sure you read the rules of the group. Sometimes they won't allow vendors or outsiders to make these types of posts, but a lot of the groups will allow it once a week. And you wanna make sure you see what day of the week that is and write it on your calendar. That way you know every week you can post and not get kicked out of the group. So, make a post. So I'll, I'll just say what's in mind, right? Just very vaguely. If you guys have any parties, weddings, or events where you could use a photo booth, please reach out to me. I'm more than happy to give you guys a free upgrade and our photo booth services are XXXX. So whatever it is, we'll put it there. And then people will comment, you'll get uh, direct messages, and that will lead into bookings. You'll be so surprised how beneficial that can be. And I absolutely love doing this way because most of the events will take place in the city where I'm posting or nearby. And you know, this is great for when we're doing our drop-offs because if they're close to us, you know, that just means that's less traveling and that's less time. And to me, you know, my time is so valuable now, you know, now that we're doing all these drop-offs and, and all that, I wanna be able to squeeze as many freaking events that I can. Um, 
Um, so that is a, a definite plus and a definite way to get free leads for your business in 2023. Also, you can post in Facebook Marketplace. Um, technically, it's a gray area because you're supposed to be selling tangible items like you know an iPad or a, um, you know a coffee maker. So when you do post on Marketplace, just be very vague, vague about it. Say in the, um, the title, photo booth, right? And then in the, in the photos, have photos of your setup, photos of people using it, and then you know whatever you do, just don't use the word rental. Um, just in the description, just be vague about it. You could just say, um, you know, if you do an all day rental, you could say, uh, keep it all day. Um, you know, beautiful photo booth, takes great photos, uh, message me for info. And then once they message you, then that's when you can inform them this is a rental, here are the prices, and all of that. That's a great way to get free leads. And um, let's keep it on the, you know, that kind of goes into Instagram. Um, back, back to, you know, what I always preach is networking. Networking is always gonna work, always. And it's gonna be the most beneficial for you because you know you wanna network with event coordinators, wedding planners, venues, other photo booth companies. This is something I, I, I honestly, my, it blows my mind. Why don't more people reach out to other photo booth companies in their area and just say, hey, the, introduce yourself. It can be on Instagram, Facebook, you can call, you can email, and just say, hey, this is what I have. Um, you know, I'd love to meet up, grab a cup of coffee, and um, see how we can work together. I'm sure, and like, give them compliments. You know, if, if you know they're a, if you know that this photo booth company is active, they're getting bookings. You can tell from a few ways their Instagram. If you see that they're doing a lot of events, reach out to them. See what it takes to to become friends with them. Literally, I, I'm not even saying do anything shady. Like literally, become friends with other people that own photo booths because not only can you learn something, you can also get on their their good their good side. And then when they get overbooked, they can give you those jobs. Maybe you white label. Maybe they hand off the event completely. And um, I can tell you that this works because now that I have Photo Booth 101, um, we sell photo booths and we help people get started in the business. Um, there's plenty of people that have bought in photo booths from me that I've become have became friends with that I give jobs to. So for instance, I had my wedding back in November. I think I had like seven events that I had to hand off to people and it was great. You know, um, people I know, I trust them, I met them. So, you know, do that. DJs are great. You know, DJs always get asked about photo booths. So, you know, you have a DJ that you work with, but out of all of those people that I mentioned that you should network with, I think the top two most beneficial ones that'll be like more beneficial right away and easier to, to get that ball rolling, that relationship rolling, would be event planners, you know, also wedding planners, and venues. Man, we have one venue that we work with for our rental company, and um, this venue keeps us busy all the time. They invite us to all of their uh, vendor expos, so like two to three times a year, there's this, this place, I'm not gonna say it, uh, it's a venue, we go, and we set up our photo booth and they have other vendors that they work with, like a cake artist, a photographer, um, a camera guy, and everyone that is getting married, they come to this, this show, right, at, that, at the venue. And then they get to meet the vendors and we always leave that place with like four to five bookings and then following weeks, it'll be like 10 more. So 15 bookings from, from one day of, you know, an expo is totally worth it. And how I got that, um, how that relationship started, I, <laughs> I was literally on my phone just copy pasting um, a message just saying, hey, I um, love the venue. Um, I would love to be a part of what you guys are doing. Um, can we, um, you know, can I get five minutes of your time to, sh to tell you how I can benefit your venue and what you guys are doing? So right there, I'm not just sitting there talking about Oh, I want to. I want you guys to get me jobs. I want to make money with you guys because I'm sure they get hit up about that all the time. What I did is I now offer anyone that books at that venue, I give them free upgrades. And if you guys know me, I don't like giving out upgrades for free. But the way I do it is I'll give them a free um, boomerang GIF and video feature, right? So if you know how I, I structure my rental is I withdraw some of the features in the photo booth and have a very basic package. So what I do is I offer that for free. It's a $75 value and boom, they can have it. But if you have a 360 booth or if you have prints, you're doing prints more or less, offer free 30 minutes, you know, whatever, whatever you can. So now this venue feels that they have a photo booth company 
um, that makes their venue look good because now that they, they, they have a photo booth company that they're offering their clients to get freebies, something that they can't get anywhere else. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of times, you know, people think that these uh, venues and that these wedding planners, they want money. That's technically, yes, they're in business for money, but they would rather have um, the hookup for the photo booth for their customers rather than you giving them a cut of money. But when we're talking about DJs and other photo booth owners, more or less they would prefer making some money off the top because you know you guys are in, in a similar business, you know. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I hope I didn't talk about this too long, but it, it's really important. Um, I know a lot of people are introverts and they don't want to, you know, reach out and make these connections. But you know, all, all it really takes, I always say this, is a few good people in the industry to keep you busy. And um, it was networking is what allowed me and my rental company to expand so freaking fast. I meant, I mean, I went from one iPad booth to doing eight to 10 sometimes on a busy, busy weekend in the matter of months. It was insane because, you know, another, another positive, last thing I'm gonna talk about networking is, um, Think about it, once you have it in with these people of, of the venue or the, the event planners, they promote your services to their customers and they explain everything. So I don't have to do any of that. That's already, it's making my business that much more passive. So that's really, really important. You know, I always say, think of them as your sales team that you don't have to pay, which is great. You know, who wouldn't want an employee that is out there spreading the word about your business for free? And you know, not to say that they're not getting anything from it, which they are. It's a great win-win for everyone, for the customer, for the venue or wedding planner, and for you, everyone wins. Um, let me see, what else can you do to get free leads for your business? I hate to say it, giveaways. Um, something I, I, I noticed on the moment booth, um, we did an interview with her um, and um, yeah, she, she was mentioning she does giveaways. Um, I've done a few, it, it, does, it can lead to more Instagram followers and um, it could lead to, to gigs. You can definitely do give, giveaways. That's something I think would be really good to do if you're just starting off, you know, offer free events. So free events will literally help you get experience. It'll help you get customers because once people use the booth, they're gonna fall in love with it. I'm telling you, iPad booths are so much fun. So free events will lead to um, a lot of gigs. Um, you can join your local um, chamber of commerce. Um, I don't know exactly how it would work in your area, but you know, just research what's your local chamber of commerce, see, see what you can do to join. Um, you know, what else can you do, you guys? You know, post on social media to the people that you know, your friends and your family, and just say, hey, anyone looking for a photo booth, um, you know, offer your services there. People are more than happy to, to, to go with someone they know and they trust. Again, guys, I appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys are interested in getting started in the iPad photo booth business, I do have a company called Photo Booth 101. I will leave the link to my company in the description. You can buy iPad booth shells. Um, we have photo booths that come with travel cases. We have an affordable booth that's $9.99. You know, sell backdrops, we have props all that stuff and of course it comes with training and you can consider me your mentor and all that good stuff. So again guys, I appreciate you. Also in the description is my Instagram if you guys wanna connect there. So I love you guys and I'll see you soon, bye.